head the things I want to say, huh? Oh, oh, oh. Reflecting all your eyes. Hi, guys, I'm Jasmine. I am a badminton player from Australia, and this is my badminton journey. Before I get into the details, here is a quick comparison of where I was a few years ago and where I am now. I started playing when I was young, but it wasn't until two to three years ago that I started investing time and money into improving my playing and growing my relationship with badminton. At that time, I hadn't really played in over five years, but still, I thought I already knew what I needed to know about badminton. I won a lot of trophies as a kid, but over time, I had fallen out of the sport and it wasn't until almost three years ago when I entered a tournament in the lowest grade and lost every game that I realised I had so much to learn but also realised how much I enjoyed playing the game. In that first year of getting back into training and building my experience in doubles, I still lost a lot of tournaments early on and it was hard to find partners but I was determined to improve and ended up winning three trophies in the second lowest grade. It felt really good to see my training pay off, even with some injury setbacks. That's when I really started to train regularly and wanted to challenge myself more. In my second year, I trained about two to three times a week straight after work or on the weekends and played games regularly. As a result, I won 12 trophies that year with a few different partners. Now we're at 2020 and I'm in my third year back into badminton. With the bushfires, protests and COVID-19 having a huge impact on our lives, I can't say it's been a good year, but it has definitely been life-changing. The year is almost ending, but I've only played one tournament and haven't been on a court in months because of the lockdown. I've never appreciated being able to play on a badminton court or eat at a restaurant as much as I do now, because we can't do any of those things right now. So looking at things more positively, I've used this time to build on my fitness at home and reflect on where I want to be in life and with badminton. In the beginning, I was only really investing time in badminton because it was a fun hobby and I wanted to improve my playing and have a chance at winning tournaments. But now that I have more time to spare and think about my priorities, I've realised that badminton is something that gets me out of bed in the morning. It makes me feel excited. I used to think that having to work full time meant that badminton could never be more than just a hobby anyway. But really, I was just making an excuse. We are all in charge of our own lives and dreams and it's up to me to figure out what I want to do and where I want to be. So I want to train hard and play full time and see if I can someday play at the highest level. Honestly, I can see it's a long road ahead, but you never really know if you can do it unless you try right. So to wrap up this story that no one asked for, I want to leave you with words of wisdom that I live by. No matter what your goal is, just remember that everyone is on their own path. We all hit milestones on our own schedule. With that said, I'd also say to take things one step at a time and live for the journey. The ups and downs are what make our achievements so special. If you've made it this far into the video, thanks for listening and here are some clips of the one tournament that I played this year. I hope you also take some time to look at what inspires you and think of the person you want to be. Then all you gotta do is figure out what's going to get you there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!